I haven't seen this one. Have you heard the song? No, I don't think so. You haven't? I don't think so. I sent it. Did you? I texted it. This one's sick. And you know, Yeet's producer? Danny no X. way. You know that? You ever heard that tag, Danny X? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look who it is. <laughs> you recognize the. Mr. Squidward? Please I'm working on dying. That. That's Benny X. Dude, they went crazy with SpongeBob. None of these songs made SpongeBob rap. But look what you said. We're hitting nothing but net when we're not hunting for jellyfish. <laughs> Man, they're so smart. Like, I don't know who came up with the idea to make it be Mr. Krabs as the main guy that raps. Yeah. But they were so right. Yeah. Like, Mr. Krabs is the rapper of the group. Like, he's the he's main. He's top G. Yeah, for sure, dude. For sure. He's the fucking guy. <laughs> you know this is not AI? This is not AI. It's not. These are, they're like impersonation voices. There's another guy that does the AI ones, but they don't like that guy. They're like, oh, fuck AI, AI music. Is Krusty Kermit the AI? All the ones that this guy has made are not AI. Okay. You hear what he said there? Did you say something about bubble buddy or He's no? like, he's like, look at my cup, it's muddy. You know mud? Yeah. Lean. Yeah. He's like, look at my cup, it's muddy. Sorry I'm bursting your bubble, buddy. God damn. The way he came in like that, bro. That was crazy. I don't know, bro, they, they could not have done SpongeBob better. Dude, that was so hard! And the ad libs that I'm ready! Dude, that's so good! Remember the stepping on the beat? Yeah! Listen to the background ad libs. Listen to the ad libs. You heard it? Yeah. I fuck with songs when they're not like experts and they're biting them off way more than they can chew or they're trying something new they're trying to innovate in some way mm -hmm. but they go in with 100 percent confidence as if they've been doing it their whole lives nobody like else would have the balls pump. to put in like that ah, da, the voice in there but no they one would have it. the brain to do that either now uh, people would do people would think about it but they'd be like no no that'll sound cringe yeah i'm like fuck it bro make it sound cringe this bitch. That part's so sick. Like, it's cringe, but that's the beautiful thing about about animating music videos. Because things that are cringe in anime are not as cringe in anime as they are in live action. Yeah. So you can actually get away with a lot more cringe. Cringe, look but it's at, cool that they did it anyways. Look at, look at Patrick. You mean Rick? Oh, yeah, watch him. <laughs> it doesn't work. There's another guy that makes AI ones, his name is Glorb. He does all AI, so his visuals are AI too. He doesn't use art, like that's an artist thing. But this guy cranks him out actually. Oh, no, I... Look, four days ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, one month ago, like he's been doing this at the same- I at, think I've seen, I've heard Crab Walk, that's it. So this is AI. <laughs> the visuals are also AI too, you yeah. know, like, uh, stable diffusion or whatever. This is someone's voice turned into Mr. Crab's voice with the same flow. The other one kind of didn't even sound like them. The other one was clearly just them impersonating them. Pull up to the Krusty Krab just to get a snack. Like that's obviously not AI. This is like <laughs> a fucking acid trip, bro. This is this one's the most popular one that the guy made, and he actually he was really smart about it. I like what this guy did right here because he made a rap beef between Mr. Krabs and Plankton. He made them go <laughs> back and forth. They have a beef. Fuck you, your formula, and your <laughs> bitch with daughter Krabs. Gay. The, I, the beat to this is kind of weird. I like I like the beat to this. It's interesting. I like the beat, but I can only listen to it a couple times before it gets really old. But I'm the minority in that, because everybody else is listening to it. It's the most popular one. You get what I mean when I say AI will be creative? If, if somebody really, really loves visuals, they're going to get really good at this, and then they're just going to be a consumer of it. Yeah. Because imagine when this gets really fucking good, just getting high and watching these kinds of visuals. It doesn't matter how good of an artist you are, 
you're going to be obsessed with this. Yeah. And you're going to be like, fuck, I just want to watch more of that. And you're going to be obsessed and you're going to get addicted to this, these kinds of things. Or you see that and then if you're really good with it, you start using AI. Yeah, but less and less people are going to do that. Yeah. And then the whole industry is going to be taken up by people that are not artists, but that do things yeah. for utility. Yeah. Like architecture. Architecture is like the biggest example of that. It used to be that architects way in the past were all fucking brilliant polymaths because calculators didn't exist. So they had to be like genius fucking the Einsteins of the world were architects back in the day. And they were creating beautiful works of art. But now it's the entire industry is run by people that just want utility out of it. Because his, his wife is a computer. These lyrics, bro, this dude sucks at making lyrics. But he's got one really cool bar in here. Right here. Right, right after this. Damn. That's, that's crazy. First of all, then I never would have thought of this no one. No one bro. And then. Chum bucket, cum bucket. Wait, that never registered in our heads. I know. How? And we're so How stupid. We never think of that. We're so it's stupid. It's so obvious. It's right fucking there. We've said the word. I've called a girl a cum bucket once, bro. I know the word exists. Dude, say it. But chum I got pearls on my neck because pearls go on the yeah. neck. I'm at the chum bucket. I got pearl given neck because she had cum bucket. bucket. Dude. It's like these are the best lyrics in the world when it's like the whole universe aligns all of its pieces so that you get to create your bar and nobody else thinks of it. Those are the best kind. That's why I love Eminem so much because it's like his songs like make you feel that kind of way where it's like what the fuck did the universe line it up for him? They gave him an alley-oop with all of his lyrics. Man, what a fucking bar, dude. How did no one, none of us see that? I it? know! None of us saw that! It's right there on the none fucking building! None of us building. saw that! I got You already <laughs> suck his dick, but you can't unsuck it! Oh my god, dude! What a great, what a hilarious... I love disrespectful bars. That's an ins- you could use that as an insult. I try to come up with disrespectful bars, this is, I cannot come up with something like this. Yeah. Nothing I've come up with as disrespectful has ever reached this level of, of not being able to be canceled because yeah. I just say crazy offensive shit. This is not like some shit that people will be outraged over, but it's so disrespectful. Yeah. And I, I love that, man. I love that. So creative.